There is a two-word prayer that I have shared often that really makes a difference in people's lives. The two words, divine order. When things are going in chaos around you, when everything seems out of order, decree that. Divine order. And see things begin to fall into place. You are decreeing through the power of your faith the power of God to come into the situation. And even though that you know that divine order is always present and active in your life, you may sometimes hesitate to follow through on the guidance you receive. I'm not preaching at you. I'm talking to myself. I have done this so many times, created so much chaos in my life because I didn't follow the guidance that I received. I followed the way that I wanted to go, and uh, then I had to decree divine order and ask for real help. Whenever you want to move past hesitation to follow God's guidance, you can. You can gain new courage. You can gain new strength when you remember the words of encouragement from the Bible. Be strong and of good courage. The Lord God, my God, is with you. God will not fail you or forsake you. When you know that God will never, ever, 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 ever fail you, these words reach to the core of your being, into your soul, and fill you with a sweet assurance. You're able to take the first step in following divine guidance and bringing about divine order in your life again, knowing that the presence of God supports your every step of the way. In 1 Chronicles 28, verse 20, it says, Be strong and of good courage and act. Most of the time when you hear that quoted, you don't hear those last two words, and act. God gives us guidance for divine order. We have free will to follow or not, and we must act to bring about a wonderful divine order in our lives, to do the things, sometimes large things, sometimes very small things, to bring about a whole change in the establishment of order. The Bible quote goes on, it says, Do not be afraid or dismayed. Often we are. When we're in disorder, we feel totally out of order in our lives. We forget how easy it is to call upon God again. And God, the Bible quote says, is always with you. God will not fail you. God will not forsake you. Even when you've turned your back on God, God hasn't turned God's back on you. So we pray, and we have the sweet assurance again of divine order in our lives.